lost my soul. What's up, everybody? Salah and here. Welcome to another awesome weekly tutorial, and it's good to see all of your smiley faces. This week, we're gonna be diving into the AMV tutorials. As most of you guys have made requests about the AMV tutorial, that you want to see more explanatory about the AMV inside no video editing app. I know some of my subscribers may resonate with this, but it's fine since I'm doing it for the sake of love that I have for you guys. It's fine. Basically, this AMV effect we are about to create the scale and bounce effect is actually inspired by one of my After Effects mentor, Ice. I put the link in the video description where you can check out Ice's channel. It's an amazing After Effects editor. But it actually inspired me about this scale and bounce effect that we want to recreate inside the video editing app. So if you get value out of this video, be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet already. So without further ado, let's dive into the video editing app and let's fulfill the promise. Alright, welcome back to No Video Editing App. Today we're gonna be creating this AMV awesome scaling and bouncing plus keyframe it blur effect. As you can see, we're having two clips right here. We have video one and we have video two right here. So as you can see, there's nothing going on in between the clips, it's just ordinary cuts in between them. So we want to start creating the scale and bounce plus the blur effect. So first thing we want to create is the scale effect. So we want to click on the first video clips and come to scale. What this scale actually means is that it's the same thing as zoom. You want to zoom from point A to point B. That's actually what this scale is going to do. So we want to set a keyframe from point A to point B. So what we want to do is to come down to this stop flash icon and open it up and set a keyframe for the first positions and move it towards to the last edge of the video clip and add another keyframe right here. So now we've created point A and point B on the video clips. As you can see right there, but when we play it up, there's nothing going to be up because they still remain on same levels. As you can see, nothing changing on the parameter. This is 1.0. This keyframe is on 1.0 and this one is always still on 1.0. So what we want to do is to, what, is to click on this keyframe right here. I click on this keyframe right here and set it to something around 1.7. I set it to 1.7. And hit OK. As you can see, now there's gonna be a movement to it because it's gonna start from what, from a lower point and start rising and start zooming towards what, towards the point we've set, which is 1.7. As you can see, so that is what the scale actually means. It's gonna zoom from point A to point B. But as you can see, when we play it up, there's nothing dynamic move on the effect. So that is where the curve actually comes to play. You're going to align this to keyframe and come to this curve assistance. As you can see, this is the scale is going to create for the keyframe we just created, which is kind of linear. There's no dynamic to it. So we want to create some dynamic effects to it. So we want to click on this first handle, which is this first keyframe we create, and come to this Bazier curve right here. I know a lot of you guys are confused with this curve, so I'm going to make sure I break this down for you guys so you understand how to use this curve properly, so you understand how it works. So we're going to drag this handle right here. And drag it towards to this point right here so what this curve actually means is that let's say you are riding so let's say you are riding a bicycle at this outside part right here and you are moving on getting to this point right here you're gonna see the bicycle is gonna work it's gonna dive in fast towards this point so that is what this effect is gonna do as well it's gonna work it's gonna zoom slowly from this side and on coming to this point right here it's gonna zoom fast at this point so let's play and see what i'm trying to say can you see what I'm trying to say? It's going to come down on getting to this peak right here. It's going to work. Zoom fast. So that is what this curve actually means. So when you drag the second hand right here and use the same, and you now drag it towards this piece, what this means is that you are giving your bicycle, let's say you are riding the same bicycle, you are giving your bicycle to have more distance to cover in a slope. And on getting to this point, it should fast at that point. So what this means as well is you are telling the animation to what to have more distance to cover before it starts zooming fast. So what you are trying to tell the curve app to do for you is that you want the you zoom to what to slow at this level and what on getting to this point where it's for it is what starts fast to, to the next video clip. As you can see, as you can see, it's gonna fast towards what towards to the next clip. So this is basically how I think I can explain and I hope you guys gain value out of this. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. So this is all this curve actually does like it's going to speed, it's going to slow at the very beginning and zoom fast at the very last. So this is what we're going to be using for this effect. So now we're going to exit out from the curve editor. So now we want to create the same but in opposite. As you can see this on this first clip right here, we are zooming from a low level to high level. But on the next clip, we're gonna be what we wanna zoom from high level to what to low level. This kind of bring a curve that look like this. As you can see, we are from I mean, high level to low level. So we're gonna come to the last. So we wanna come to the first frame after the cut right here, 
and open up the words, open up the scale parameter for the word for the second clip right there and add the first keyframe as well and drag it towards to the word towards certain points you want the effect to actually stop. So you create another keyframe right here on this level. So on this, you want to set this to high. Just drag, you can drag this out a little bit right here and bring your timeline towards this side to create the effects for this. Make sure you're on this clip and set your keyframes to about 2.7 or 3 if you want. As you can see, I'll zoom this clip to high as you can see. So what you want to do next is to drag this keyframe towards to the beginning. As you can see, it's going to zoom on high and start zooming to its normal position. Can you see? So when we play it up, this is what it's going to do. As you can see, there's nothing to add to it. It's just kind of linear scale. So we want to make it to be more dynamic. That's where we come to the curve again. So it's going to be in opposite direction, unlike, unlike the first one we create. So here yeah, I'm still going to explain this curve for you guys. So you want to click on the first keyframe and use the curves. So you want to drag this curve towards this space as well. And use this as well and drag this as well and drag this and towards the space so now what so now what we are telling this app right here you don't get confused so don't get confused at this point let's say you are riding bicycle from this stop right here it's gonna be what the bicycle is gonna be what it's gonna be fast because it's what is it's diving towards a high heel right here and on getting to this point it's gonna work slow towards the next thing that is what this effect as well is doing it's gonna zoom fast it's gonna zoom it's gonna remain the zoom on what on high level and keep slowing towards the lens towards the next keyframe so let's play and see what i'm trying to explain for you guys can you see it's gonna work fast at this level right here because it's gonna it's gonna what it's gonna die it's gonna dive in towards the next so it's gonna fast as you can see it and slow towards meeting the next clip so we want it to be more fast you can drag this towards closer to each other so the closer the keyframe the more dynamic the words the more dynamic you're gonna get and let's play and let's see what we have can you see you can drag you can as well increase the distance of the word you can bring it somewhere close that means you have more distance to cover before it starts zoom slow right here hope you guys understand this curve as well it's kind of moving in opposite direction something that look like this for the two clips as the way i explained so these two effect is moving in a reverse way just like this so that is what we create for this so let's play these two clips so let's play these two clips together and let's see what we have so far can you see how smooth and dynamic this effect was can you see it let me put it in wide window can you see it's very dynamic so now we've created the scale so now it's now time to create the bounce so the bounce is gonna be on the what on this second clip right here so to create the bounce is very simple so what we want to do is, is to click on this second clip right here make sure you click on the second clip and come to this stop push icon right here and what what you want to do is to make sure your timeline is on what is on the beginning of the what is on the beginning of the second clip right here and set the first keyframe right there as you can see you set the first keyframe so on the first keyframe what you want to do first is what is to click on it and set this to what and set this scale on your y axis look at my mouse on the screen right now and bring it all the way to about to about 63 as you can see it's dragging this clip all the way up so i'm going to bring it about 63 so what i want to do is to drag this keyframe towards the towards the end of the clip right there and bring your timelines towards it and bring your timelines towards it i count one two three on three and had another keyframe right there so what i want to do is to bring this scale down to about 0 0.29 as you can see what I'm actually doing. All right. So now you've created that. So what we're going to do is come back to this tools right here and count another four. One, two, three, four. On four frame and add another three frame right there. And bring it to about 0 0.58. As you can see, I'm bringing it up again. Awesome. So next we're going to do is to count six frame from that key frame. One, two, three, four, five, six and add another keyframe and bring this back to its normal positions which is about 50. what this basically means is that you move your position up you move it down you move it up again and you move it back to its normal position so let's play it up and let's see what we have can you see the bounce which is awesome right so as you can see we are having all of these open edges right there this open right here so we want to correct that now so what we want to do now is to correct that to correct that just close this up 
make sure you are on, make sure you are still on this clip right here i come to this plus icon and go to effects then what we're gonna do go to style and come to repetize come to these mirror edges and set it to horizontal and verticals so on this now you are having this make sure you come to us bring your timeline towards where you see that there is a black bar right here at the top so you come to the up and scale this to about and scale it up about 33 as you can see then you come to the down part as well and you set it to about 33 as you can see we have fixed those black spaces right there now our bounce is now looking smooth as you can see as you can see there is no black spaces at the top and at the edge so we're gonna close this up so now we have this awesome scaling bouncing so what we are left with is now to create the blur effect as you can see it is looking way more smooth and more professional as you can see it it bounces well so what we want to do now is to create the blur effect so we want to click on the first clip and come to this effect and go to effect and come to blur so the blur we're going to be using is the, is the gaussian blur you click on the gaussian blur and this is the effect so what we want to do now is to bring your timeline towards the part where the zooming effect is high let's say at this certain level where it starts zooming so what we want to do now is to add the first keyframe right here and what and come to this parameter and set this to a zero and it's okay so then you want to come bring your timeline towards to the last edge of the video clip before the cut right here and add another keyframe and set this way high to about 5.5 and it's okay as you can see right here the clip is gonna come straight and on getting to this keyframe you set it started blowing out as you can see right here on getting to this first keyframe the blow effect started was getting high towards to the next keyframe so let's play and see what we have and you see it's gonna blow and moving towards to the last edge way high so what we want to do next is to go is to copy this effect we just created and close this up and what and come to this and come to this next clip right here and close this up and come to this plus icon and go to effects and go to blur and use gaussian blur so what we want to do is to come to this paste gaussian blur so it's going to paste the effects what we want to do only is just to open this up and what and bring and align this to frame and bring it towards to the towards the beginning of the clip right here as you can see what i'm trying to do so what we want to do now is to drag this out and change the positions you want to change their positions what this means is that it's gonna work, it's gonna blow on the second clip at higher levels. As you can see, it's right here, it's blow at higher level and higher what style clearing. As you can see, it's gonna work blow at the beginning and what and clear towards what towards the next. So let's play and see what we have created so far. So, so now we have this awesome scale bounce and blow effect, which is awesome transition any lot of you are lazy just like me that's why i've created template for this so you don't have to do all of this strenuous work that i've go through so all you have to do is just to download the templates and drag all your clip inside and what you're gonna add this awesome effect now you might check the link in the video description as of now you are watching this video the template link might have been in the video description so you can check the link in the video description and download the template hope you guys gave a lot of this video if you did please be sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing share this video to your friends that actually want this amazing scaling and bouncy effect and as always i'll see you in the next tutorial peace